Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Conan Exiles episode 104, where we entered a time warp. Everything is fixed. Look at that sprawl. I'm very much wanting to work on the tower still. I'm very excited to get the tower going, but we are going to need this place for thralls, so it would make sense we would do some stuff while we're here, but it's fixed. Big shout out to Bad Magic Account. Thank you so much for taking the time to write out the explanation for how to save this. Uh, like, I, like I answered in your, to your comment, I don't normally mess with this kind of stuff, but in this case where I don't feel like a default difficulty setting should include building building abandonment in single player mode. I think that was kind of goofy, especially when I selected no building abandonment when I created this server. But in any event, whether it was my fault or the game's fault, it has been fixed. Uh, so we're back in time a little bit. This is pre my final push into the Black Temple. I loaded up on Ambrosia from the Altar to Mitra because we're going to head back to the tower and continue the work that we were going to do there. I really want to work on the tower. We'll come back here at some point when it's time to look for some of the name thralls there, but mostly I just wanted to showcase that, yes, it did work. Yes, this place is back, and uh, I'm going to take us back over to where we're working right now. But this place is back in action, so mourn, mourn the loss of it no longer. All right, let's get back up where it's cold. All right, and we're back in the north. Well, the far, far north where it's cold and it's dark. Uh, and we're going to talk about what we're going to do next. So, first thing is first is I was reading the comments and there were some recommendations to try and get some weapons with better armor penetration. I definitely think that's the winner uh, to get more armor penetration. Now, one of the comments said to use the Glacier Crack, and I admit, while that used to have incredible armor penetration, it actually doesn't anymore. Here you can see it only has 5%. It used to be incredibly powerful with armor penetration, and I feel like it got hit with the nerf bat, so that's not going to be an option. So I thought, well, let's learn some new weapons and make some star metal stuff, since we have star metal, and see, here we're going to need some shaped wood, see what we can make. There's bound to be some item with higher armor penetration, because if we can just kill our targets quickly, then we won't have to worry about using the shield as much. No, not smelting. We're Oh, we already had some in here. Okay, well, we'll put some more in here. All right, let's look at what weapons we can learn. Maul and a pike. That's probably the direction we want to go. Let's look at the final product here. We've got star metal hammer. Spear. Cleaver. Probably the hammer is going to be the way to go. Let's unlock that. And then we'll unlock... So we can do the spear as well. Warhammer, Warhammer. Battle Axe, Ancient War Axe, Acheronian War Axe. So it looks like we get the... Star Metal gets the hammer... And Acheronian gets the axe. That's okay. Let's let's try the hammer. Let's see what that yields. I would imagine it's going to be pretty strong. Star metal hammer. Let's craft one. And we'll see what we get. We might as well, since we're experimenting and we're looking for a good weapon. Might as well... Uh, yes, we're going to learn the arrows as well, even though we're not going to make any right away. We're going to go ahead and learn the spear as well. Let's go ahead and make a spear, and we'll take a look at what the stats are for that. Now, we have a lot of damage with our Black Ice Longsword, or I think we're actually using the Black Ice Brawn Broadsword currently. They're both the same strength and armor penetration, but it has virtually no armor penetration, so it's very good against the animals, but... Ooh, 107 with 54% armor penetration. I'm nearly positive this is a two-handed weapon. Yeah, of course it is. Oof, it's all glowing though. Look at that. Ooh, that could be fun. That could be fun. Let's let's put let's put that away for now. Strong candidate though. 54% armor penetration. 
And we're also going to make the Star Metal Spear. We'll see what this has. I'm less inclined to use the Spear, though. 96 and 39. Probably attacks faster. I think we're going to leave that here, though. I guess we'll, we'll bring the shield for now. Uh, this is what we'll do. We'll put this stuff in here, and we'll grab the Star Metal Hammer. We'll move this torch here like that. We'll keep the shield on hand. We have Ambrosia. We have food. I grabbed the Demon Blood, so I looked uh, just to see if there was an entrance requirement to get into where we're going to go which is the uh, cave, which uh, I don't know 100% where it is. I know it's somewhere over in this area near the Mounds of the Dead to the west. This might be it. No, maybe not. Is it up here? I don't know. We're going to go look for it, though. Uh, as it was also mentioned in the comments, I should go there and get the pole arm from there, as the pole arm from there is incredibly strong. And since we're trying to get built up to do the Black Keep, that sounds like a good option to me. So let's go... So we could go advanced weapon damage, oof, with oil, but I almost want to go balanced weapon fitting, no, that's what, to reduce stamina cost, make weapons more durable. I'm looking for a blunt fitting that can be applied to a weapon to increase concussive damage sort of looking for increase armor penetration yes the spiked weapon fitting let's get some of that so we're going to modify our star metal hammer with extra spikes beautiful 69 percent armor penetration that's going to be good that's going to be good okay we have food we have ambrosia lots of that and things to repair our weapon, should it need it. I think we'll just move five of these over. That'll be enough to repair it at least once. I don't anticipate using the shield, but we'll see. And we have our Ambrosia. We'll go ahead and put two stacks here. Um, but as I was saying, so I looked just to see if there was a requirement to enter, because I didn't want to spend all this time getting geared up and get there and then find out that I couldn't get in. And I learned that you have to have one uh, demon blood to enter, and then I quickly stopped reading. Sounded like star metal. Um, so that I wouldn't uh, ruin anything else. So I don't necessarily know what I'm going in for. I know there's a good pole arm there, and I know that I have what I need to enter. Beyond that, we're going to find out. Make sure I'm fully fed, and let's top off our water, which I guess it already was. Oh, I must have drank when I got here, or done it when I got here. In any event, we're going to head on out into the wilderness. We're going to keep our sword for fighting the wildlife. Oof, that mammoth is out on that ice. Bold. That's some strong ice. We're just going to try to run through as much of this as possible. Try to fight as little as possible leading up to where we're going so that we can just get there quickly. Let our stamina come back and we run again. We should be able to get away and it shouldn't be that far. Now that being said, I've kind of analyzed in my head making this trip a couple of times how far this little village is from our tower. And I think we're going to go with having to do another outpost with a Wheel of Pain a little closer to this area. I don't know if I want to drag them all the way back to my tower. Might be easier here. But we also have our village returned to us. Thank you so much again, Bad Magic Account. Really saved the day there with that information. So we did not lose all of our work, which even though I'm still, I'm still going to focus on the tower. I, I know I've already said this, but I want to reiterate it. Um, it's good to have. I'm glad it's there. It was a lot of work I didn't want to lose. 
we are going to stick with the tower in the north. That's where the star metal is. That's where the future is. Bears, lots of bears. Bear fight. Mammoth as well. Okay, well this is where it's going to get a little a little sporty. We might get into trouble just trying to run through everything. We're going to give it a shot though. Kind of lost my frame of reference. I was following the road. Now we're sort of off-roading. Okay, there's the village to our left. So I'm pretty sure it's along this mountain line somewhere. We're just going to a look, uh, look around. I imagine it will stand out. I'm not sure what it looks like. What is this? There's like a mist here? It's like a cloud of some kind. Oh, easy does it. There we go. Ooh, look at all this coal. This is a really good place to make tar. Ooh. Yeah, this looks like the place. Alright, I don't know what kind of armor these guys have. Let's give it let's give it a try. We'll start with the sword first. And then we'll use the we'll use the hammer and we'll assess based on damage. Because the sword actually does more damage than the hammer. So the armor if they don't have armor. Oh they they barely hurt. Oh they barely hurt. These these are not nearly as strong as oh I should oh I did bring my pick. Harvest these guys for their gossamer and their glowy stuff. Or I could just get a bunch of bones. Okay, we'll try the axe next time. Alright, so that's how many hits it takes with the sword. Let's try with the hammer. I'm dying to conk somebody with this. Ooh. Ooh. What? What? Nope. No, no, no. Well, they don't hurt that bad. Let's try it. Oh, they're going to hurt in numbers this big, though. Ooh, no. No. Everybody hurts when there's that many of them. Everybody hurts when there's that many. Oh, oh, wait, there's more out here. Hold on. It was like three came around the building all at once. All right, maybe they'll stagger and come to me one at a time. They seem to be lost trying to figure it out. Nope, one of them figured it out. Two of them, okay. They are getting staggered, so. Seems like the sword might be the way to go for these guys. I don't know how much armor they, they have. Okay, run. We're running. Woohoo! We're running again. Oh, they're not liking that. <laughs> Just gotta get a little creative, that's all. This is uh, a little ridiculous. A little bit. But you have to do what you have to do, right? I think we're gonna I think we're gonna use the sword on this one. I think we're gonna stick with the sword. Let's see if we can get some some gossamer or some of their glowy stuff. Okay, we did get some that time. That's good. I like that. I like my blue torch. And this is a nice place to get gossamer without having to go. Oof, all that bone though. We don't need all that. I think that's good. We're gonna have to stick with the sword. I think the fast attacks are better, and they don't seem to have that much armor. It almost seems like it takes the same amount of hits. And since the hammer naturally swings slower, that means it's not gonna make money for us unless it's actually cutting through armor. 
is this snow? Just shiny mud, ice. Okay, this place doesn't seem as intimidating as the Black Keep. I think this is a good intermediary to help get us in the frame of mind of a difficult place. Plus, there's supposed to be a good weapon here, so I'm all about that. The Barrow King. Barrow King. So this is where I guess you're supposed to get the hint about bringing the demon blood. Yes, I've tried my blood and it simply does not open. Perhaps what is buried inside is too different from what we are for this to work. Right. But I do have demon blood on me. So I guess that's all it takes. And now we're in. Ooh, my. Where's the lightning coming from? Oh, shining through the entrance. For some reason, I thought that was going to shut behind me. Kind of trap me in here. Oh, my. This looks like a situation where we're going to need armor penetration. Let's see if we can pull one. Hopefully, there's not more. No, this is a situation here. It's just me and you. Whoa. Oh my. Mm. Nope, I'm just gonna keep walking around you in a circle. Can you not reach me? You're literally swinging over my head. Are you serious? That hardly seems fair. Oh. Pretty intimidating looking, but. How interesting. Okay. Well, I was pretty worried there. Okay, well, that was, was a little odd. Ooh, demon blood. Oh, yes. Look at all that demon blood. Let's Let's switch it out for the pick. Let's see if we, yeah, let's see about the pick. Lots more demon blood. Look at it all. Oh my goodness. That is great stuff. So I guess I thought this was gonna be a whole dungeon. Just the boss, they, they can't I should I was I wasn't even crouched. <laughs> what is this? Grave. Hmm. I'm not sure. Huh. Oh, oh. I have learned new recipes. Let's take a peek, shall we? What have I learned? Nope, oh, that was the reptile. That was all from the other dungeon. I don't... Oh, there's frost smithing. Star metal hardened steel ancient scholar. Hmm. I don't see anything new, though. Wait, 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 wait. No. Vanquisher of the King Beneath. The King Slayer Polearm. Extremely long and ancient polearm. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we need to go back and make that. I'm glad that lights up when you get next to it. Okay, uh, I feel like we could have beat that guy, uh, even if he could attack us normally. But he could not, so there's not much we can do there. Can work our way back. Oh, and it's morning, and the sky is clear. 
hopefully none of the whites are still around. Well, looks like they're still cleared out. Maybe we've cleaned this area out. Okay. Let's, uh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, just four of them out of nowhere. That's, that's a little irritating. It's clear one minute, and the next minute you know, I'm facing certain doom. buildings over there. There's all kinds of buildings here. We're just going to run past them. This episode is going to be about the weapons and making this pole arm. I don't know. I'm I'm curious. I'm I'm curious. Let me know in the comments, please. Is that a standard thing? That the Barrow King can't hurt you? That he just swings over your head over and over and never hits you? Is that standard? Because that seems like something that could have been hot fixed in the game and probably should have been hot fixed in the game by now. I'm not one to be hypercritical of developers. Heck, I'm normally pretty understanding. And I'm glad I'm glad to get a strong weapon, but it definitely feels cheapened. I was prepared for a fight. So in the Black Keep we have an unwinnable situation. And over here <laughs> over here we had a situation where Really, we could have we could have punched the we could have punched the Barrow King to death. We would have we would have been able to, had we had the had we had the fortitude to stand there and click the mouse over and over again. There's gotta be an in between. That's that's tough. Oh, here comes the mammoth. In any event, it's behind us. Oh, that's our wagon trail crew. Oh. All these wolves, and they all want to say hi to me. I'm a friend to all the animals in the northern forest. They just like chewing on the star metal. It's a whole pack of wolves. Now, after making this trip a third time in rapid succession, this is not how we're going to drag our players back. We're going to have to have an outpost for the Mound of the Dead. And I do want to go in there to see what kind of kind of thralls they have, what kind of named thralls spawn in there. Especially since it's so close to our tower. We're just, we're not going to be able to do the Wheel of Pain in the tower, at least I don't want to. So we're going to have to start working on a structure over there on that cliff. Really? You all followed me here? Well, now my archers are going to help me out, so... Plus, I could have taken on four wolves. Or, maybe I needed the archers' help after all. Thank you. It works out pretty good. Oh, now the million dollar question, what does it take to make this this glaive? I don't see it. There it is. Hardened steel shaped wood thick leather. Really? That's pretty easy. know we have thick leather in here. Yes, we do. I'm going to drop off all of our bones and blood in here. Woof, we're good on demon blood for a while. Glowing goop doesn't go in there, but that's okay. 
Oh, we need more storage. Our storage is all filling up. Well, that's an easy way to get demon blood that's close by. Goodness. All right. So from here, we got the hardened steel, the thick leather. Oh, I think I'm just under what I need, though. Oh, no, I need 30. Oh, we should have more downstairs. I'm pretty sure we do. So I'm trying to taper the building with some combat and action, but we are going to go back to building this place. Probably next episode will be a construction episode. I was kind of hoping hoping to give everybody somewhat of a bigger fight. We can go back. There's other little bosses we can go back and get. Not little bosses, but weaker bosses that I skipped at the time. Because I didn't want to modify the server settings, and so I had it on utterly painful for single-player setting. We can go back and mess with that. Here, let's put the thick hide and the fur here. Thick hide... Regular hide. Sure thing. Take all this tar and we'll stash it in here. Getting lots of steel fire. I'm feeling pretty good about that. We are going to need another brimstone run soon, though. And we do have more thralls in the south. Options, options. We have a lot of options. Okay, hardened steel should be in here if we have more of it and it doesn't look like we do so what do we need we need need some black ice yep and we'll go right over here into this furnace with the steel fire we need more steel fire Nope, but we're not making more steel. Forget that. We're going straight to the hardened steel, please. Okay. Now while that's going, we're going to need to come up with a solution for storage. We have gossamer and gloop. Goop, gloop, gloop, goop. Glowing goop. Not gloop, but glowing goop. Very big difference. Huge difference. Don't ever call it gloop. It hates that. Anyways. Alright, we're gonna put we'll just put our oh, there's not no room for two twine. Here's where some of the demon blood was. Dragon powder. Could always make more of that. We need storage. We do. We're going to need a lot of storage, actually. I want to get everything nice and organized. Oh, we need three more. Or no, we need one more. We need one more. That's right, we had 19. Right? We had 19? Let's go see. Pretty sure we had 19. 11 would make 30, and then that'll give us our glaive, and then we can check out the stats on it. Likely, the next time I go to the Black Keep, I'm going to bring a wide array of weaponry. Yep, there it is, and also set up a mini outpost so that we can experiment with damage types and getting ourselves in a nice, comfortable position before we go just jumping in there again. I was... So not to make excuses, I, I don't like excuses, but the explanation for why the Black Keep went down the way it did was because my experiences prior were the dregs, which ridiculously easy for my level Gar granted they're low level uh, absolutely I understand that um, my next experience was the frost temple which was challenging but not too hard and so I thought it would be along those veins 118 damage and 54% armor penetration that's pretty good Well, that's pretty good indeed. We need to make a modification for that. I'll probably go with the... Balanced weapon fitting? No. Durable? No. Cussive damage? So I'll probably just go for more damage. It's already got a lot of armor penetration. 
Probably just modify its damage outright. Look at the difference. 96 and 39 for star metal. Versus 118 and 54. Wow, the star metal rep weapons really aren't that much to write home about. I mean, the star metal hammer is strong, but if you think about it, this is probably the strongest of the star metal uh, weaponry. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's take more of our star metal. I think we're going to safely say we're going to leave the hammer behind and put the glaive... Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty neat. I can get on board with that. It's It doesn't look like it's going to hit as many people, though. Because the nice thing about the hammer is it hits more than one person when you swing it in a large arc. Uh, maybe we'll hold on to the hammer, too. Well, in any event, we're not going to be going to the Black Keep right away. Because, like I said, we'll be doing construction next episode to try to get this place looking more like the main base that it's going to become. And so we don't need to carry that stuff on us. In fact, we can probably... Let's put the... Where do we need the thick leather here, I'm thinking? And we have a carpentry bench up here, but we don't have a thrall for it, so I'm going to hop downstairs. Because one of the things that I want to check out... Seems like it got darker in here. Oh! Or a bonfire ran out. No, 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 turn back on. One of the things I want to see is the damage of a star metal arrow. Ooh, seven for three. Three star metal for ten arrows. That's pretty good. It's pretty good with that carpenter thrall. Let's grab some branches. I just want to see the damage difference. I, I'm not fully committed to using these star metal arrows, but I want to know what the difference is between... So, 31 and 29 for ice shard arrows. Let's make one. Let's make one and see how that goes. Ooh, 61 and 22. So, about double the damage. A little less armor penetration little less. Let's leave this here for now. I definitely wouldn't use these just hunting wolves, but for the Black Keep, it might be worth it. I think we're going to have to max performance when we go to the Black Keep. We're going to need to bring quite a few various tools in our arsenal to be able to stand a chance. We might have to make gas orbs and consider trying to use bombs and set them up to do some AoE damage like that. We're going to need to consider bringing a dancer over there so that we can have our health regen when we get started. It's going to take some time, but for now, we've learned a valuable lesson. We've licked our wounds, we've made it back from the Black Keep, and we saved the outpost from a time warp that threatened to destroy it. And here we are, back in the most decorated building that I've made, if I say so myself. And right, it's going to be time to continue construction. So we have the armory, and then the next floor will be the hearth. And then I think we're going to start tapering in. And we're going to need to start building... Oh, look at that. Look at those rings. It's kind of an odd fire ring. It has a really hard edge. Interesting. Uh, we're going to start building along the cliff, even though we'll lose that coal. Sad. But we'll build along the cliff. So I think we're going to have buildings along the cliff, and then the tower will be separate think. Nothing too big, but it's going to be nice. It's going to have everything we need. That being said, that's where we're going to wrap up this episode, where we went ahead and got ourselves the spear. We went and killed the Barrow King. Slightly anticlimactic, but we killed him. He definitely was creepy looking, and I'm sure it'll be quite an encounter when he gets fixed. Maybe when he gets fixed, we'll go check it out again. We, we, owe, the, we owe the Barrow King a, uh, a rematch. We really do, just to be fair. With that being said, this has been Conan Exiles, episode 104. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because you guessed it. As always, I've had a good time playing. 
thanks again to Bad Magic Account for helping me save my outpost. I cannot thank you enough. I know I've said it multiple times. I deeply appreciate it. Come back next time as we continue to work on our tower and hopefully figure out what its silhouette is going to be moving forward. But until next time, take care.